What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back in Wreckfest once again here today, returning to everybody's favorite track, Talladega. And this time we have brought the 70s cars making their debut on this track in a video of ours. And we are going to have to try and deliver this beautiful Richard Petty STP car to the front and get a dub here on what will be Memorial Day by the time you're watching it. So hopefully you're having a good day. We're going to try and make it even better. Let's see if we can get through turn one. Just got to wait and watch because you know they are going to wreck it. And there they go. There goes Truex up. Taking out his teammate Eric Jones. And there goes a bunch of cars wrecking on the high side. And we're going to get by most of it, but they're wrecking up in front of us again here, too. We got a low. Oh, they're coming down right in front of me. Don't you do it. Everybody holds on. Oh, Keselowski. No, my boy. Just annihilated Brad Gay right in the side of the door. A vicious T-bone, and it's all kicking off back there. Why must I always have to do battle with my clones? I don't want to do this. This isn't Star Wars. Oh, the leader just got leveled. It's a clone battle. Oh, and he took a swipe at me, and he whiffed. What a scrub Bowman is. Um, well, this is interesting. We did it. <laughs> First race of the day. We have collected the dub. So we've got a replay to watch here. Keep your eyes on this yellow 48 car. I don't know. Maybe just pretend it's the spirit of Jimmy Johnson or something right now. But well, the, the big question on our hands is what do we do? Uh, we've collected the dub right at the start of the day it's been a while since that's happened i don't recall the last time that happened i think it has but it's surely been a while if it did happen so yeah kind of unprecedented territory i guess what we'll do is uh continue on and see if that was a fluke or if that was a well-earned win uh and we certainly can't stop now so we got to get back to it Gal bush up here looking for someone to wreck and i think he just turned hemrick and hemrick's gonna get it back and there they all go, a bunch of them. Oh, there they really all go. Oh, man, cars just getting twisted up back there. Cars wrecking beside us here. We got to watch out for them. Give a bump draft to the Melon Man here. We're kind of repping the same colors. Got a little bit more blue than I do. A couple different shades. I can respect it. I can't respect this. Ross, what are you doing? Ross, you are, are you serious? Did I really just have to get Space Force Ross? Was that really necessary? I don't know how I'm going to block Davey with no rear bumper, but I'm going to try unless I miss completely and get myself turned into the infield. I'm lucky I'm not in a camper right now. I might go into the outfield. And there it is. Man, we are dealing with a fluke situation here. I don't know what's going on. We blow through the 24, just sitting on the road. And I think this is about a done deal. Oh, Richard Petty changing lanes rather quickly. Kyle Busch coming up next to him says, I have 200 wins too, buddy. Oh, and there he goes. Absolutely tragic. Now, oh, and then I get blown up by the two car. And here we go. It's a pile up. Everybody's rolling. Oh, it's twisted metal everywhere. We are on our lid. Turtled as we can be. That was the big one. And I think this one's just about done. We're just hanging here. I was hoping to be safe here on the high side. Then the two car just comes right up and sends us down into the path of the pile. And we can just go over and... Everybody else goes flying too. We push to Davey in the corner here. Not a wise decision, especially when there's a wreck. Blowing up right in front of you and then right around you. And around we go again. Nothing I could have done about that one. And Eric Jones is still trying to hook me as I ride out of it a little bit, though. We're still moving. How about that? Me and Joe Nemechek, we're like, we're good. Somebody's flipping down here at the bottom of the track. Bunch of cars stuck down there. Kyle Busch stuck down there. And we are all kinds of torn up. Look at the aerodynamic elements we got on this thing now. Yeah, Richard Petty about to pack somebody. Gets into Donnie Allison for old time's sake. Well, Richard Petty, I'll give you the bump with my completely ruined front bumper, which is above your trunk. That did not work out well. That was a bump and run pass on a super speedway. Not a recommended maneuver for highly trained professionals only. I'm not going to push Donnie into the corner, and that didn't go too well either. I just about wrecked myself. So I'll cut it down low and see if we can beat him the short way around here. Come on, let me get that run. Oh, they're going to lose grip off the corner. We're going to complete that pass with the run down the backstretch. Let's go. Oh, Ricky Rudd has gotten himself another win. We do not get a victory, but we do finish in sixth. So maybe it was a fluke. 
let's go ahead and get down to that clear bottom where the wrecking is beginning and going up to the top. Oh, and me and Eric Jones on a collision course and I just ran him over. Just ran him right down, launched him into a barrel roll and he's probably still going back there, but I gotta focus on this mess in front of me as they are trying as hard as they can and wreck JJ Yaley and they finally do. Joe Nemechek is gonna barely hang on to it. So will Ross Chastain. Don't wreck me again, you slug. And we're gonna sneak by into the top six on Jim McMurray's outside here. And here we are, all right, we got Greg Sachs. We got my boy Brad K. He's trying to wreck Brad K. They all are coming up, they're coming up. Oh, I'm scared. I can't, oh, there it was, I knew it. And Jamie McMurray finally finishes off Brad and then they collect some more back there. Oh my goodness, what is going on on the track today? Me and Greg Sachs drag racing it to the line here. A little bumping and rubbing. Oh no! Dang it, Greg, why? Oh, I'm gonna get ass packed viciously on the way through. That was at full speed. Oh, they're lining themselves up for the packings now. They're just pulling right into the racing lane. They don't care at all. Eric Almarola going by him. Oh, I think he just got pushed. He just got packed and he's got to run from the one car. Now we're three wide and here we go again. Again, is this necessary? We're wrecking ourselves for like 13th place. Oh man, that guy just almost got nailed. Is that Eric? Get out of my race, Eric. He almost got nailed while he was flipping on the track. That would have been a beautiful sight to behold indeed. Oh, Davey White. Why, Davey? Davey, Davey, there's a whole track, Davey. You couldn't have passed me in one of the other five lanes at Talladega. You needed the one I was in. Just need to drive right underneath me. Yo, oh, Davey. And what did it gain you? Nothing at all. You better hope I don't catch you again. Oh my God, Steve Park coming from blood. What is he doing? He comes out with a knockout blow and dumps him. Steve Park, my hero. Steve, a wise man once said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go right by him. Please don't hook me, you piece of trash. What is that? I cannot believe the betrayal that is on our hands. That was disgraceful, Steve. I'm too heartbroken to even carry on. What a guy. Just gotta hold it up top here behind a good old Kevin Conway and there they go. Here comes the wreck. Which way will they go? Nobody knows. One of them flipping big time up into the catch fence with Jamie McMurray. And here they all go into a massive pile up in the middle of the track. And then I run somebody over. It's Brad. It was Keselowski. Oh, no. I did it. I committed the cardinal sin. I looked back and I wrecked. You absolutely hate to see it. Give it a push to one of my other boys, Eric Jones. It just feels right until Ned Jarrett just comes and busts it up. Steve Park right on his door. What is going on? And I've been hooked and here we go again. It never ends. We're flying over cars. Cars are flying right behind us and flipping all around us. What in the world? This is a crash that never ends. We're still flipping. Me and Kevin Conway with one of the slowest speed impact flips of all time. And then the one just gets launched muscled across the track. And this race is just about over for us already. All right, I'm generally not the type to be like an analyst on these types of wrecks, but this replay is too good not to watch. So there's Steve Park just chilling on his door right there. That's a solid one. Then we get hooked and it's on. It's game on. We're spinning like a top, flying over people's cars. We launched the 16 into a flip of his own. Then these guys just come barreling through. There's like five cars flipping in a ball of fire right here. Me and Kevin Conway. We bring a whole new meaning to its extended sponsorship from back in the day by making this wreck last way longer than it should. And then the one just gets blasted across the track. And that's that. Baby, I haven't forgotten what you did to me, buddy. See you. Oh, and he's going to get nailed. Oh, Allison on Allison. Violence back there. Just got T-Bone into oblivion. And here it all kicks off. The typhoon has begun. Where are they all going to go? Natalie Decker spinning right across the nose. And we get through it. We survive. Oh, Greg Sachs, why? Literally, why? What is the point of this, Greg? Greg, what did I do to you? Who hurt you, Greg? Oh, I'm about to get hurt bad. Here it comes. I want to know why I was just murdered just now. I want answers. Greg Sachs should be trialed and jailed for the rest of eternity for what he just did to me. We got to look at this replay. I got to see 
what is all right so that was a bit of a bad guy move for me but you know what we're, we're not looking past that that was revenge it's whatever we got to get through this huge wreck which somehow we managed to do which is part of the impressive feat in itself there it is Dally Decker just missed her and then this 42 car everything seems fine and dandy we're all clear and then suddenly I'm up on my side and Greg Sachs is just having me and there you go we get a little flash out of him and then here we go I try to get to turn back around in time but there was no chance we just get absolutely pummeled by the one t-boned into a barrel roll and my life was brought to a premature end once again well you better believe when i find greg Sachs, i will be playing judge jury and executioner he will pay for his crimes but first we got to survive whatever this is and i don't think we have a very good chance of that especially when all four wheels leave the ground and we kind of drive through it everybody just kind of wrecked around us our wheels are completely exposed People are flipping in the grass. Cars are coming down the track and giving me a haircut. That could have been bad. Oh, do I see him? Move dress day. There he is. There he is. Come here, you little punk. We got him. He's out of the race. Oh, and I think we might be joining him here shortly. And there it is up into the fence. It's just absolutely getting blasted by the field. Well, here we are watching another replay yet again. The wreck will be commencing shortly here, but I want to go review the, the judgment that we dealt down to Greg Sachs later on in this clip here but first we got to get run over by the field and uh, this replay system by the way Bugbear I don't know if you watch my videos if you do maybe future updates come to this replay system it's a tad rough as I get a haircut there from the 48 miss the melon man here and Greg Sachs your punishment is now pile drive him get nailed by the melon man he hits the 42 again I didn't even see that the first time and then we just get absolutely handed a whooping of massive proportions oh freezing white please don't be doing this to me this early oh my goodness and there goes one flipping wildly man we've had some bad catch fence crashes today but we get through it on the bottom side but it's not over yet here comes a couple more i see greg sex up there again oh they're coming up greg sex no are you kidding me he got me again you have to be absolutely joking. I'm going to, I've been packed to death. There it is. Greg Sachs gets revenge. I got to see this replay again with my own eyes. I saw it happen in real time with my own eyes and I still don't believe it. So Stuart Friesen started by taking himself out of the race from the get-go. That 24 car had a catch fence crash and flipped over the field, which was wrecking all alongside of us. Then this little four car pack up in front of us started wrecking. And that's where Greg Sachs just comes and nukes me from the side. And I just get pummeled by everybody coming through behind me because what are brakes? Arca brakes are installed on every car in Wreckfest by default. And then the ass pack comes through and finishes me off and just ends my day. Greg Sachs, I'm coming for you. Greg Sachs had better know better than to be in the same line as me or be within my line of sight. I will end him. But I have to not get ended first. And so far, so good. Watch out for the melon, man. We do all... God, our clone is causing a big one, and we got to skirt through the middle, and we get caught. But there's everybody's rolling, and oh my goodness, Eric Almarola with a massive flip down the back stretch into the inside fence, and we're up into third. We have got a run on J.J. Yaley and Ricky Rudd once again leading another race. We've got a lap car that's going to make things interesting up here by sitting in the lane. Will Ricky Rudd get around it, or will he pack him? He packs him! He packs Stuart Friesen. And this is going to open the door wide open for me for the pass on the outside. Nice and clean. What will J.J. Yaley do? He goes for the pass, too. Going to have to block a little run. They might get down here, but they don't have it. We're good. Oh, we got Jamie McMurray as weak as can be. Do I do it? I'm an evil person. I'm terrible. I am absolutely evil. Oh, and our competition has been taken out. Well, that was a pretty dastardly finish to this race. What a little insurance policy there at the end. We are going to collect our second dub of the day. Once more, we reign supreme and conquer at Talladega. You love to see it. That's as neat as it comes right there. Doesn't get much better than that. A great day at the races once again. Talladega never disappoints. It always delivers. It always brings the destruction, no matter what set of cars you bring here. And I am absolutely loving these gate crashers with the 70 skins on them. They are so beautiful. They race so hilariously. 
it is just a great time and uh, I highly recommend it if you have Wreckfest on the PC you can get the skin mod and you can uh, get any mod that we use in any video you can get the Talladega track from the very track pack and you can get all of the mods that I use in videos on the Steam Workshop. I actually get that question a lot. I figured I should throw it in here at the end. You can get them all on the Steam Workshop. That's the only place I get my mods from. That's the only place you need to get them from, too. And with that, you can pretty much do anything I've ever done in a video that's still around. So that pretty much wraps it up. Have fun with that if you have a PC. And that is pretty much where we're going to wrap it up here for the video. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy it, Please hit that like button, subscribe, hit the comments down below. All that stuff helps me out a ton. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.